we are going to war with Iran. We have to go to war with Iran. And the sooner we go to war with them, the better it will be for us. Now, I'm going to tell you more about it as the days and the weeks progress. But it's going to happen. Why? Because we have to go to war with Iran. The longer we wait, the more they can organize Hezbollah both abroad and in America to uh, strike back. And they will strike us here. And that's when, of course, America and the armed America that I know is there must be called upon by this cowardly, spineless, retrograde, degenerate government. We keep hearing, oh, if we attack Iran uh, with, with, uh, from the air, they're going to trigger Hezbollah in America. Well, guess what? There's probably 30 million armed people in this country, and of that 30 million, many of them are trained ex-military, trained law enforcement. We could hunt them down. We could form brigades in this country. The uh, Hitler of our time, the president of Iran, is the Hitler of our time. The trick is to kill him and knock out the mullahs before they get more powerful and before they can organize even further their global jihad and the tentacles spread even further in our own country. And they're spreading the tentacles through our own freedoms. They're using our freedoms to spread their tentacles in our own country. Our freedoms are going to choke us to death, but make no mistake about it. There will be great damage in this country one way or the other. And it's only a matter of time. And so, as I say, do you take your enemy on now while he's building himself up? Or do you take your enemy on later when he's already built up? That's the only choice you have. They're not good choices. They're terrible choices. Now, the Democrats want to put their head in the sand and say that we can just talk our way out of it. History has shown us very few things. But one thing history has shown us is that you can never negotiate with a tyrant. We are negotiating with a, with a tyrant who believes in a book and believes that every word of that book is written by God, his Allah. You can't reason with a madman. Hitler had his mind conf. This one has the Koran. Do you understand that? Cut the tentacles off Hezbollah and the United States of America. Cut them off overnight. Break down any door you have to break down. Forget habeas corpus. Throw the ACLU in prison with them, and you'll see how much the ACLU loves them the next day. W.O.R. Rich, go ahead. You're on the Savage Nation. Okay, this is the, uh, you use the same exact rhetoric that they used in the, uh, in the drum up to uh, the war in Iraq. No, let's stop that's... right there. Let's stop right there. We've tried diplomacy with the Hitler of Iran. They have tried diplomacy for two years. What world do you live in, moron? First of all, first of all there's no evidence that they're building any kind of nuclear weapons. The IAEA even Look, says... I don't give a damn if you're an agent of Iran. Get out of my country, you filthy wretch, you. Sure. Get out of my country. You're exactly like the Gestapo agents who were planted here in 1937, 38, 39. Hitler had his minions here, too, said that Germany doesn't want war with America while they were planning war with America. You don't fool me for a minute. You're a paid agent of Iran, and there are thousands of you who are trained to call talk radio. And if I had my way, I would track you down. I'd have the FBI break your door in 10 minutes and pull you out by your hair. Get off my show. What kind of religion is this? What kind of world are you living in that you let them in here with that throwback document in their hand, which is a book of hate? Don't tell me I need re-education. They need deportation. I don't need re-education. Deportation, not re-education.